<laughs> my intention for the show is not for it to be political. However, two things have set me off today that have to do with politics. Number one, a fucking Nissan Cube cut me off with a Rick Santorum bumper sticker. A, if you're driving a Nissan Cube, your life is obviously pretty square. And B, if you have a Rick Santorum bumper sticker on the back of it, you're a fucking idiot. No one should vote for Rick Santorum if you want this country to succeed and flourish. Secondly, while Googling issues today on gay marriage, I stumbled across a website called the National Organization for Marriage, which was very interesting. It defines marriage between a man and a woman, which is fine. People are allowed to have their own opinions. However, when your opinions interject with me wanting to live the lifestyle that I choose to, I get annoyed. Interject might not have been the right word there, but it sounded right in my head. On their website, they have a, a section called Talking Points, answering the tough questions. All right, and it says the most effective single sentence in discussing marriage with someone who supports gay marriage is, gays and lesbians have a right to live as they choose. They don't have a right to redefine marriage for all of us. Well, my question to you is, who got to define marriage in the first place? And why wasn't I included in it? Regular marriage and gay marriage are like bikini tops and bras, exactly the same thing, yet only one is allowed out in public. Welcome to week three, week three, episode three of the Daily Bitch. Daily Wake up bitch. Weekly Bitch. We're having so many issues tonight, I don't know why. Our first topic, Zac Efron dropped a condom on the red carpet at the premiere of his new movie, The Lorax. People are in uproar. Who fucking cares? He's practicing safe sex. I think that's fine. Zach's fellow Disney friend Miley Cyrus bought a brand new white Mercedes 2012 SL 550 convertible. Um, it cost an estimated $127,000 and she paid for it in full. A little known fact that we googled is Miley Cyrus is worth an estimated $120 million. Fuck, why can't Disney hire me? Why can't Disney fucking hire me? She made $120 million for Hannah fucking Montana? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I could have been fucking damn Colorado, and I, if I would have gotten 120 million dollars, I mean like damn Colorado. I don't. If Britney Spears can get away without singing in concerts, they could have recorded my voice and synthesized it, and I would have gladly gone and lip synced at every arena in the country if I would have been worth 120 million dollars. I bet she. She's gonna be 20. I bet she gets drunks, drunks, drugs. I bet she gets drunk and crashes before the end of the year. I'll take it. I'll bet you on that deal. Well, but she'll be high. Oh, salvia. <laughs> NBC News was reporting this morning that young girls are starting to develop what researchers have started to call princess personalities. Princess personality is when young girls act like they are overly entitled and demanding towards others. People are pointing towards the media's portrayal of young women on television and movies as the cause. I'm sorry, this isn't a new thing. I also, it's not just girls. Ross has a <laughs> personality. <laughs> My first thought was, well, I suffer from narcissistic personality disorder, which is <laughs> actually true. <laughs> and now I also fall into the category of princess personality disorder. Which is fitting, considering people call you princess. Well, that's not media's fault. That's your fault. Like, if you had control over your children, then they wouldn't be acting like princesses. I mean, people only act entitled when their parents treat them as though they are entitled. Yeah, like, who's the girl from anyone that's on Toddlers with Tiaras? What kind of example is that setting? That That is princess personality disorder. That's, yeah, the fat cowboy girl. Yeah. Who's got the, like, overly obese mother who's a whore. Yeah. Yes. Boo Boo Honey. It's because of people like you. So, people it's not your fat ass mom's fault. <laughs> um, Angelina Jolie's leg made quite an appearance at the Oscars. Um, she had a big slit up the side of her dress, and when she posed, she popped it out. And it became a worldwide trending topic on Twitter last night. A, I think she needs to eat something, and that leg had a fucking mind of its own. It was actually scary. Well, like, I yeah. thought I was only scared of women's vaginas, but now I'm scared of also Angelina Jolie's <laughs> leg. <laughs> Well, because the slit was so high, it actually ended like right where the like the hip bone is. Where the vagina was. So it actually like looked like it was just like a part of the dress. No, it, it was looked like, like she's like crawl up my leg and let me eat you. Okay, that's just creepy. It was, I, but it was creepy. Like, well, yeah, but I mean, she doesn't like, eat anything. Here. I she's felt like there should have been an arrow on the side. She doesn't eat. She's trying to like get skinny or whatever. Not really. She's just not eating because she wants to give more food to the starving kids. <laughs> <laughs> she can't adopt them all. 
I bet you could. That was, that, I mean, like, I'd be like, girl, like, cover that shit up. <laughs> You're pasty as fuck. Yeah, that was awkward. All right, Rihanna and Chris Brown both released new remix singles featuring one another. Um, we keep bringing up Chris Brown and Rihanna. I hate him. I just, he beat the living shit out of her. And now he's like, I just don't understand how she's okay with it. I would be, if someone touched me, I'd flip a shed. I think it depends on this. I mean, like, I, we don't know them. I was like, I don't, I mean, like, how dumb are you, though? Like, so fucking dumb. Liana, if you're watching, the world took your side, and Chris Brown is a fucking douche. And, like, the minute you go back with him, that's just saying it's okay. Like, he literally beat the crap out of you. Okay. Hypothetical, if I had just beaten the living shit out of you, right? Mm hmm. And then, like, you hate me. I hate you, yeah. You hate me, right? And then, like, three years later, I'm like, oh, hey, come be on a talk show with me again. Even though I beat you up on a live talk show. I would go on that said live talk show and accidentally stab you in the eye with a pen. <laughs> so my point is you'd have residual anger. Well, yes. So what you're saying is Rihanna's plotting a murder. But I don't, I don't, I, yeah, Rihanna's probably planning to murder Chris Brown. The new season of Chloe and Lamar premiered last Sunday night. Um, in the episode, uh, Chloe bought a sex swing for her and Lamar to use. Um, and when Chloe got in the sex swing, it fell out of the ceiling and broke. Chloe's the one that looks like Chewbacca, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Chloe's the fat Kardashian, and I think it's funny that she A, bought a sex swing for her and Lamar to use, B, <laughs> put it in the ceiling herself, and C, sat in it and fell on her fat ass. I just think it's weird that she was like, oh, this seems like a really good idea to do on national television. <laughs> All right, this week's Bitch of the Week is actually a good bitch. Really good bitch, A actually. really good bitch. Um, Taylor Swift, you are a Bitch of the Week because you did an awesome deed. Um, Taylor Swift was invited to... Um, a senior prom by a... By Kevin McKidd, Kevin McGuire, I think was his name. He's an 18-year-old who has suffered from leukemia since he was since age 13. And his leukemia went into remission, but he recently relapsed. And he was nervous about going to his senior prom because he didn't think anyone would want to go with him because he'd be bald and malnourished looking. So his sister started a Facebook page that said, Taylor, will you take my um, brother to prom? Um, it got over, I think, like 100,000 likes, and obviously Taylor saw it. And being the good person that she is, she responded saying that she couldn't go to his prom, but he could be her date to the Country Music Awards um, in April. So Which is awesome. That is awesome. Thanks anyway, so our Bitch of the Week... Taylor, good job. We're happy for you. And um, Kevin, we're happy and for you. And Kevin, that's great. Awesome. You should be so happy. Although the chemo thing, or the yeah, chemo thing sucks. Yeah, but you'll make it through. I have the utmost faith in you. Anyway, that's our show for this week. Um, you should now follow us on Twitter at MyWeeklyBitch. And then hopefully we'll see you next week. Sorry for all the laughing. And by hopefully, he means we will. Oh, we will see you next week. week.